I was born into a happy family, a mother and father who loved themselves, and I was really enjoying my young life. And then when I was 12, my whole universe changed. I discovered my first girlfriend and I went, whoa, life on earth. This is about girlfriends. And I, I developed this des desire. I knew my mission on earth. It was to be married and have a family. And because that experience with girls was very special. And I also loved medicine and went to medical school, loved medical school, and came out of medical school and met uh, the the mother of my son and oh my goodness gracious committed relationship marriage wow it was very very different for me and um, we had a, a son and I thought I was going to be married forever but day after day I wasn't doing well I look good on the surface I looked like a wonderful young man and a, and a good doctor and I was failing at my marriage, and I wound up divorcing and splitting up that family, and it was a tragedy for me. It was a total breakdown. I mean, what was my life about? And the worst part about it was, after the, sometime after the divorce, I had 100% knowledge that it was me who brought down that marriage through a whole multitude of things that I was later to uncover and that was such a <clears throat> tragic failing for me that I, I, there came a time when I committed my whole life to seeing if I could learn how to love because I realized I did not know how to love a woman. The, the whole thing that I thought was the most important thing in my life, I didn't know how to do. And not only that, I knew it was severe and the most I could come up with was a commitment to do whatever it took and hopefully in this lifetime, I would be able to learn how to love. And you know what, I got that commitment. <laughs> and I put in uh, so much time and energy and finances and courage and willingness and have had so many mentors and teachers and I've arrived at the starting line. I'm, a, I'm decent in relationship, I'm good in relationship. And along the way, this really affected my medical career because I've always held in my heart that the best thing going on in this planet was women. And I also began to see how, not only how I interacted with women, but how men in general did. And I also developed a deep desire to, to actually lift up women into the proper place on this planet and to be into the houses of decision and determination and I was so grateful for my partners in the menopause method that that is our core mission to re-empower women who are falling off a cliff in menopause 75% of them are and so it's my career in menopause has just been so rewarding for me because you've got basically healthy women more or less midlife who fall off a cliff and they can't function, they can't sleep, their mood deteriorates, lots of things deteriorate, as many women know. And through the methods that we've developed, uh, this exquisite program that we've developed over 25 years, um, women come back online and I can't tell you how extraordinarily rewarding my day-to-day -day life in dealing with the women in menopause is because over and over again, I, when I meet them in this consultation, they're not sleeping well, their marriages are in trouble, their, their health is in trouble, they've gained weight, they've lost their libido, they've lost their feminine, and you know, two, three, four months into this exquisite program we've developed, they're back online, and, it, and I hear this, oh my God, I'm myself again and the gratitude that comes through with that communication and how rewarding it is to hear that and to see it because you can see it in women who are properly having their hormones replenished. So it's uh, been the privilege of a lifetime to be able to involve and then in our core mission to uh, empower women so they will rise into their proper place on this planet and feminine energy will come to be a prominent energy 
that will help heal this planet. The mission of our menopause method is my partners and all of, our, all of our team and all the doctors and nurse practitioners and pharmacists we work with. It's so rewarding to know that that's the core of our day-to-day -day professional life uh, is uh, the uh, raising up of women at midlife when they're at their most talented, their most skilled, their most knowledgeable. And uh, yeah, I'm so grateful.